This is a proof of concept showing you how to convert PDFs into notebooks internally so that you can move and add pages. The downside to this is that when you export it, you will only be able to export it as a PNG. So the quality won't be that great. So it's not really, it's not a vector graphic, it's not scalable. But if you're only looking at that document on the device or if you're okay with that quality, that might be something interesting for you. Also, I'm doing this by hand right now, but it's pretty easy to automate. So if you're going to use that regularly, you can easily write a script to do that. First of all, let's get a PDF on here to use. You can see it's now on the Remarkable. Our idea is that we use the cache PNG is generated by the Remarkable as templates for our new notebook so that each page has the, the, the cache PNG as its background and we can write on it and export it. In order to generate those PNGs, well, first of all, have a look. Let's have a look at the Remarkable. Let's cd into local share Remarkable Accessible and let's find our document. So let's just search for Z shell in all of our metadata files. There we go, we found this UID. Let's just save that to a variable so we don't need to check that out every time. Okay, now if we have a look at the cache directory of our file, of our document, of our notebook, whatever, we see it's still empty. So if we open it up on the Remarkable, and now have a look again, we can see there's one PNG. This document, as you can see, up on the, on the toolbar, it has two pages, so in order to generate the rest, just go to the Pages Overview, wait for it to do its thing, and then you should have two PNGs. It seems to generate those cache PNGs also if it didn't finish rendering all the previews, so just make sure you have as many PNGs as you have pages in the document. Now, in order for Xoxtel not to overwrite the files we're working on right now, let's just kill it. I'm going to the draft launcher right here and let's get to work. So we have our cache PNGs. So first of all, let's copy them over to the template directory. So let's cd into the cache directory and let's just copy those over to use our share remarkable templates. Also, we will need those file names later. So let's just ls the whole thing and redirect it to temp, uh, let's call it pngs. Now we can remove all of those pngs, make sure you are in the cache directory, otherwise you would remove all of your data. We can get out of here. Now the next thing we need to do is we need to tell the Remarkable which pages have which template. This is stored in a file called page data. So if we check out our page data file, we can see both of them have the template blank. We want to well remove that file first of all and create our own one. So we need to know which UID, which which cache PNG belongs to which page. Fortunately this information is stored in the content file, so let's have a look at UID.content. We can see right here there's an array called pages, and this is in the same order the pages are in the document, so it starts with page one obviously and then continues increasing. So we need this one starting with 9f as our first page. So let's echo that into UID.page data. And for the second one, we need to append it. So we need two of those greater signs. And there we go. Now, if we have a look at that again, uh, that's the one one. There we go. If we have a look at that again, we can see there's now our templates. Now, this won't work quite yet because of two things. First of all, we didn't modify the templates.json yet. So we have our new template PNGs, but the Remarkable doesn't know yet that they exist yet. So 
we need to take care of that. So let's go to use our share remarkable templates, templates.json. And let's just copy a block of this, paste it. And for the name, let's call that UID. File name we'll take care of later. And let's just delete the categories. We don't want to show it. Uh, we don't want it to show up in any of those categories. So this right here, we can just paste again. And now let's split view the, uh, what did I call it? Um, PNGs, I think. Yeah. So, so let's take care of those. Let's copy that and let's paste it on the file name. Let's get rid of the PNG at the end. Let's join those lines and add the closing quotation marks and the comma again. So the remarkable doesn't complain here. Oh, well, it's not the remarkable, it's Vim. Um, same thing here, we just paste that, remove the PNG at the end, go up here, join those lines, and remove the stuff we don't need, add the stuff we do need, and save that, and we quit out of that. Now, the last thing that needs to be done is we need to tell the remarkable that we don't have a PDF anymore, we have a normal document. For that, we open this time we already opened the uh, content document right here. We search for file type, which we can see here. And where it says PDF, we just delete that. This tells the remarkable it's a normal notebook and not a PDF. Save that. And now we continue into Xarchital. We can see there's our document. If we open it up, it looks just like before, but if we open up the page menu, we can now see in the upper right corner this plus icon that wasn't there before. So first of all, let's make some annotations on those pages. So let's randomly circle some stuff. And our next page as well. Okay, now let's go to the pages menu again. And let's add a page. Now this looks like a copy of the second page, which is because it uses the same template as the second page, which is, well, the content of the second page of the PDF. But we can, of course, change that by going to Settings and using a template that actually makes sense. And now we can write onto here. Going back to the pages overview, of course we now can also move pages around. So we just select the third page and move it in front of the second page. This works as well. So let's go to the to this page right here. We can still write on it, of course. Now we can go over to the second page, and there's our third page. Now let's pull that document off the Remarkable and see what it looks like. So it's called Zisha Parent Expansion .pdf, .pdf. So I'm going to open both PDFs right now so I can have a look at both of them. So first of all, we can see our new page is in here. And this is the original one, of course, without our test page. So looking at it from the distance, you really don't see any any difference. But uh, if we zoom in, we can see the difference right here. Our original PDF scales nicely, and we can still see everything very crisp and clear, while on the left side, well, it's pixelated.